Unsaturated hydrocarbon compounds may produce millions of geometric and structural isomers. Hi, this is Mr. B. In this video, I'll explain how to write isomers for a variety of alkene carbon compounds. The simplest unsaturated hydrocarbon compound is a compound known as ethene. This is a chemical formula for ethene, C2H4. There are two basic classes of unsaturated hydrocarbon compounds, the alkenes or the alkynes. Ethene is an alkene compound because the chemical formula CH4 will fit the general formula CnH2n, where n represents the number of carbon atoms. In this example, there are two carbon atoms, so 2 times 2 is equal to 4. The structural formula for this compound is written as follows, where two carbon atoms are connected via a double covalent bond. The bond angles about the double bond in an alkene compound will always be 120 degrees. To write the condensed formula for this compound, simply copy the structural formula, CH2 and CH2. Because the compound ethene possesses only two carbon atoms, no other isomers may be written for this compound. Now let's observe a different unsaturated hydrocarbon compound. This compound contains five carbon atoms. The name of this compound will be pentene or n-pentene. When naming unsaturated hydrocarbon compounds, the bond modification, in other words, the double or triple bond, must be given a position. In the first example, the double bond is located behind carbon-1, where numbering begins at the terminal carbon, either on the right or on the left. The bond location must be given the lowest number. So this compound would not be called 1, 2, 3, 4 pentene. It would be called 1 pentene. To write the condensed formula for 1 pentene, simply copy the structural formula. CH2, CH, CH2, CH2, and CH3. An isomer of 1-pentene would be a compound called cis-2-pentene. When naming this compound, the double bond is given the lowest possible position, which is behind carbon 1-2, not carbon 1-2-3. The term cis implies that the hydrogens on carbons 2 and 3 are adjacent to each other. So the proper name for this compound would be cis 2 pentene. A geometric isomer of cis 2 pentene would be trans 2 pentene. The term trans implies that the hydrogens on carbon 2 and carbon 3 are written opposite on different sides of the carbon chain. So the proper name for this compound would be trans to pentene. To write the condensed formula for both cis and trans to pentene, simply copy either structural formula. CH3, CH, CH, CH2, and CH3. Another isomer of pentene would be a compound called 2-methyl-2-butene. Now, let's figure out the numbering in this compound. First remember, the bond modification, in this case a double bond, will always take priority over any substituent group. 
when assigning the position to the double bond in this compound, we should use the lowest possible number. In this case, the double bond is located behind either carbon 1, 2 or carbon 1, 2. So this will be a 2-butene since the longest continuous chain is 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons. Notice also that the compound has an alkyl group, specifically a methyl group, the second carbon from the terminal carbon on the right. When naming isomers, the lowest possible value should be assigned to both the bond modification as well as the substituent group. So the proper name of this compound would be a trans 2-methyl 2-butene. And of course, an isomer of trans 2-methyl 2-butene would be a compound known as 2-methyl 1-butene. To write the condensed formulas for either compound, simply copy the structural formula. In the case of 2-methyl 2-butene, the condensed formula is CH3CHC with a methyl group in parentheses, which indicates the alkyl group and, of course, the terminal carbon, CH3. For 2-methyl 1-butene, CH2C, parentheses with the alkyl group, CH2 and CH3. And finally, we have the isomer where the methyl group is actually two carbons away from the double bond. In this case, remember, the bond modification takes priority when naming. So this compound is called a 1,2,3-methyl-1-butene. And the condensed formula for the compound would be CH2. C H C H parentheses C H three and of course the terminal carbon would be C H three.